<laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Who inspires you the most? Oh, my father, who's no longer with us. Excellent. Who would you like to trade places with if you could? Nobody or Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Are I you take driving it, that I take Lincoln? His, you know, no, I'm not. Oh, no. okay. All right. Ford Flex. Throw in a plug right there. There you go. <laughs> uh, who is the one fictional character you'd love to date? Date? Mm-hmm. No spouses are listening. Smilla Jasperson from Smilla Sense of Snow. Okay. Who makes you laugh the most? Dave Chappelle right now. Oh, I love him. Remind me to say something about that afterward. Uh, who is the most unexpected person we'll find in your phone? I plead the fifth. <laughs> oh, okay. Who's the last person you call it or text? My wife and prior to that, my daughter. Okay. Family. Family man. Family. Uh, what one thing do you need to have in your fridge at all times? Ice cold tab. Ice cold tab. And it's in the book. Tab should be paying you money. They man. should be. They should be. There's paying a sponsorship me some money. deal there for Ford and Tab. Here you go, Mr. I, I got to tell you my one quick Tab story. This is so great. I had a I had a guy who's a sales rep at one of my things I was doing, and he said, "I noticed you mentioned Tab in your books, and you're addicted." He said, "I got to tell you something." And this guy was in uh, Amarillo, Texas, I believe. He said, "You know, I live by the drummer of ZZ Top." And I play golf with him sometimes. He said, you're not going to believe it. When we go play golf, he's got a little six-pack ice chest full of tab every time. So you and ZZ Top got something in common. I love that. <laughs> That's awesome. That was the greatest drink ever. I can't believe you can still get it. Uh, well, I think they, well, God, I'm going to get in trouble. I think they only sell it in the South. It's like a plot. You know, yeah. they, they want to give it to us for some reason. Yeah, we don't know. there's something in it. Maybe that's what's fueling all the that, maybe it writers is. out of Mississippi. Northerners are going to start buying it no, now. No, now I'm going to start because I want that inspiration. <laughs> Tab, put it on the grocery list. Uh, let's see. What is the greatest horror story of all time? Oh, the greatest horror story of all time. That's hard to say. I, maybe, maybe Bram Stoker's Dracula. I'll throw that out there. Some Stephen King. Peter Straub, Ghost Story. Boom. Coco, The Throat. Boom. Mic drop. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Plenty. Whew. Peter Straub is god of literature. I'll say that. He, he is. I read that story when I was little. Little. I couldn't go to the bathroom by myself at night for months. I still can't go to the bathroom by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had to get you there. I don't like the dark. I still don't <laughs> like the dark. There's still a nightlight. Thanks a lot, Mr. Straub. Appreciate that. What's the best thing about being from Mississippi? Being from Mississippi. What was the last gift you gave? <laughs> Probably flowers, I think. Nice. Oh, we like flowers. What's the weirdest thing a fan has ever said to you? <laughs> I'm your number one fan <laughs> ever since Steve's book. I, I do cringe a little bit when I hear that. And they're even self-conscious when they tell you that because they've seen misery. But you still, you sort of, you give a double look in those eyes trying to make sure there's not, you know, the little hog face or something, you know, <laughs> like in the movie. Well, Sorry, I know I'm getting a little weird there. but No, if it'll make you feel better when I met Tess Gerritsen, I went up to say that. But I said, Tess, you're my number one fan. Uh, there you go. Now that's bad. Uh, that what was item? Bad. It was really mortifying. <laughs> what item would you die to get your hands on if it went up for auction? I bought it the other day. <gasps> what? Uh, baritone acoustic guitar built by a guy who built me two baritone guitars, and he died at age 50 tragically. One of the best luthiers in the world, and his personal guitar had a laughing hyena inlaid on the headstock, and it's been up for sale forever. And when I finished this trilogy, my wife finally said, "Just." get over it and just do it and I bought it at auction so that's awesome uh, what hand do you write with I write with this right here Qu three quarters of a million words with those really? fingers right there that's a pretty scary thought really if I look back wow. but I write I do write at night right-handed like falling asleep I just write on a legal pad deep so you do both you'll actually long the write book if you the need book to. goes down in the computer but yeah. sometimes you know when you get all key, it's like being done with a musical gig. You lay in that bed and your mind's just I couldn't just lay in the bed and go to sleep. So it's almost like discharging a battery. And I can't always read it, but sometimes I get something great from yeah. it. That's awesome. Uh, what's your worst habit? Procrastination. Really? Sure. Says the man with three quarters of a million words. Yeah. I get it. I get it. 
Uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Alive and vertical, I hope. That's where I see myself. That's all that you matters. Know. Where do you want to go that you've never been? Greek islands, never been to the Greek islands. Nice. Where would you spend your retirement? Alive and vertical. I won't ever retire, are you kidding me? Never. No. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you these 20 questions in a minute. How do you like your coffee? Dark, black, whatever. How important is music to you? Music is everything, man. I'm traveling, I had to play on a radio show, like third gig, and that gave me an excuse. Even though we're schlepping, the car is so full you can't even get in it. And my wife wouldn't have let me bring a guitar on this whole tour, but since I had to play on a radio show, I had an excuse to bring it, you know? So I got that with me all the time. So <laughs> music is life. Music know? is life, and absolutely. Chicken or beef? Chicken. Chicken or beef? Shrimp. Coffee or tea? <laughs> Coffee, sorry. Orange juice or apple juice? Orange juice. Dogs or cats? Is that even a question? Dogs or That's cats? That's like, who's better, the Beatles or Rolling Stones? Obviously the Beatles, obviously cats. You had half of that right. <laughs> Cats and the Rolling Stones. Hey, who's the guest here? You're the Oh, host. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Um, and our last question, to be or not to be? <laughs> uh, you know the answer to that. <laughs> Come on. All right.